Hello and welcome back to St. Peter's Church here in Rome, New York. For those of you visiting for the first time, my name is Father O'Brien and I'm the pastor and I'm stationed here with Father Emmanuel, our parochial vicar, uh, the new term for a uh, associate. And then we have now two deacons, Deacon John McGaffick and the deacon that we've had for so long and love very much, Deacon Nick Rozier. As we move forward, we are getting closer and closer to our July 1st, 2025 date of bringing five parishes together into one parish entity, one administrative body, basically. But we'll keep four of the five churches open for Sunday Mass, uh, and, uh, and, and it's coming together quite well. We actually had our first social event uh, where all the parishes came together and worked on a single project with a single goal in mind, and it worked out very well. And that was for the Honor America Days Parade here in Rome, New York. The city of Rome has a wonderful uh, full weekend of celebration. There's a 5K run, there's a parade, there's a concert in the evening followed with fireworks, and the food trucks are out, and it's a great, great weekend uh, that the city of Rome sponsors. And so our five churches uh, got together and volunteers from each parish uh, worked on one float celebrating our Catholic heritage and celebrating unity. And it was a wonderful float. You can see the pictures on Facebook at St. Peter's Community or on our website. Uh, I think there's pictures there as well. And in the end, it rained. Boy, did it rain but we had 15 or 20 people show up to walk in the parade along with the float. And uh, by the evening, it was announced at the concert that our combined Catholic community uh, won first prize. So their hard work and their dedication and their coming together certainly paid off. And, and that was the first really social event that we've had uh, as we move forward. And so it's a sign of the great things people can do when they work together. And of course, last but not least, is Catholic Community of Greater Rome. They have won the first place award for, right here, for the beautiful float they put together. I wish we had a screen, we could show the pictures, but thank you very much. The other thing uh, that you may have read about if you're not from the area, and if you are from the area, I know you've seen, is how well the city of Rome and the people uh, from the city of Rome came together for tornado relief. That terrible uh, F2 tornado that we had back in July destroyed so many homes and, and other types of properties that uh, the city of Rome had the streets cleared, uh, restoring of power, and so on. And I just want to... Uh, let you know uh, how St. Peter's Church, with the cooperation of others, uh, did in, in our part on the tornado relief. So I have here uh, just a list. I wanted to write it down, and Laura Mack, our pastoral associate, uh, helped me uh, to remember uh, so many of the places that helped. Uh, St. Mary's Church, which uh, was no longer a church, was terribly destroyed. We were able to recover from the debris the cross that was on top of the steeple from the church. And the new owners of the property were so kind. Dr. Kabari and his team uh, from his medical um, health facility uh, donated the cross back to St. Peter's and we're going to make a memorial, um, uh, like a grotto, and have that cross there uh, with a plaque that says uh, St. Mary, Our Lady of the Assumption, 1845 to 2024. We don't ever want to forget uh, the, uh, the impact that that church had initially as a German parish and then just as a citywide parish over the years. As the tornado relief began that evening, of the tornado. Oneida County Emergency Services uh, used St. Peter's Church as their headquarters uh, to reach out to the community immediately. Also, the Red Cross used St. Peter's Church as a headquarters to uh, help 
with uh, emergency funds, with uh, food, blankets, hygiene products, and so on. And I have to thank Father Jason Hage from Utica. He's the pastor of Mary, Mother of Our Savior, the former Our Lady of Lourdes on the south side. He got together a team of uh, people from the Utica area and they donated truckloads of hygiene products. People had to clean up after, so Clorox and um, uh, cloths and everything to clean up the finer dust and everything once the big limbs were cleared out of the way. And St. Pat's and St. Anthony's Church in Chadwick's was involved in helping. St. Mary's in Clinton was involved in helping. And St. Peter's Church also worked with connected community schools here in Rome to provide three hot meals per day. In the uh, immediate days, I think for a couple of weeks after the tornado, for people whose homes were so destroyed they couldn't eat. And St. Peter's helped them store their food for the next day. They used our freezers. Uh, we provided food and supplies. And uh, we did not do any of the cooking, but we're right across the street from where those three hot meals were provided uh, here in downtown Rome. And so uh, we were very honored to be able to help connected community schools. And it was just an entire um, coming together of our community. And I'm so glad that St. Peter's was able to, and geographically be at the hub, uh, able to serve. That's what our faith is about, to love God and to love our neighbor, and to serve God by serving those most in need. And so as we move through the middle of September now, uh, it's hard to believe, isn't it? The ninth month of the year is almost over. And uh, uh, just a, a reflection or a thought as summer comes to an end, the leaves begin to change and autumn begins. Where do I stand in my personal relationship with Almighty God? And where do I stand in my service of neighbor? We remember the story of the Good Samaritan, a man beat and left half dead on the street, was passed by by those who should have cared. And a Samaritan man came along, a man one might think wouldn't care. And that's who cared for the traveler that had been beaten. Not only did he nurse his wounds, but he found him shelter and provided for the long term by telling the innkeeper, if you remember, if he spends more than I've left you, I will repay you upon my return. And so as we end one season and begin another, in nature, we can look in our heart and ask ourselves how our faith helps us to grow in our knowledge and love of God and our neighbor and to see how we can best serve those most in need. We'll see you again very soon as we get closer to the Advent season. Please keep myself and Father Emmanuel and the staff and Father Angelicchio and his staff at St. John's, St. Leo's and Transfiguration, and Father Bob Kelly from St. Paul's and St. Joseph's in your prayers as we work together to find the best way to serve the Catholic and Christian community here in Rome and the surrounding areas. And know that you're in our prayers as we move forward together in Christ. God bless.